What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm reporting to you from the Whittier Museum to do the Haunted Rose Beyond the Gates of Turnbull. So a kind of interesting backstory on this event. It started off as a small little home haunt and it kind of grew and it grew and it grew and eventually came its way to the Whittier Museum. So most of the bottom floor is the haunted house and then on the top floor is the museum which I think is really interesting. I uh, have no idea what to expect, but I know that we are going to be doing a little video presentation from the creator of this event. He's going to kind of tell us about the uh, beginnings of, you know, this haunt. We're also going to go in depth into the story behind this haunted house, and then we're going to be able to go walk through it. So exciting times. I want to thank the Haunted Rose for inviting me out for media. I'm excited to cover it. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm ready. So let's do it. Let's go. We've got a spooky monster. They're gonna make us a cotton candy rose. You know what? <laughs> Thank you. It's so pretty. Let's try it. Can't go wrong. It's cotton candy. Welcome to the Haunted Rose at Whittier Museum. This year's theme is Beyond the Gates of Turnbull. And boy, do we got a heck of a haunted house for you guys this year. All right, so a little history on the Haunted Rose. Um, for those that aren't aware of us, um, Haunted Rose Haunted Attraction was created by myself, Ryan Banfield. Uh, it was started in East Whittier and unincorporated Whittier as a home haunt that was actually um, seen by the public as a professional level haunt on the same kind of level as not scary farm not scary farm level and universal studios haunted attractions um we ended up getting a uh, home haunt of the year in uh, 2016 from creepy la uh, that's david marklin's website from uh, midsummer screen in 2017 we returned with the maritime horror it was an adaption of hp lovecraft's the um, shadow over innsmouth which is a city filled with fish people that sold their souls to the uh, water sea god Dagon. And uh, the guests had to walk through the haunted house and basically escape the sea village of creatures and uh, basically find the way out. Fast forward now to last year, 2021, um, because I didn't have a location anymore to do a big elaborate haunted rose and I don't want to let my fans and the guests down. Um, I was looking all over Southern California for a new location. Uh, they had about five different locations on the table and doing business plans with them all and a lot of them just they fell through for various reasons and uh, I was getting a little discouraged and it was getting close to oh I think it was about July of last year I ended up approaching uh, the Whittier Museum because I saw an ad that they do uh, some type of Halloween harvest event I wasn't really sure what it was and they were looking for volunteers or something of that nature and so um, my wife encouraged me to contact them and I called them and I said, hey, uh, you guys ever done a haunted house or thought about doing a haunted house? They said, well, in fact, we've been wanting to do one for the last two years. I said, well, I'm your guy. Now coming to this year, um, we've got a whole weekend of Halloween events. We're going super big this year. Starting on Friday night, we're gonna have the Los Angeles Misfits cover band playing two 40 minute sets in the parking lot while the Haunted Rose is going on all night in the, haunted, in, the, in the museum. The following night, we're opening our very first annual Nightshade Market. This is a Halloween and horror vendor market that's gonna feature um, about 32 or 36 uh, horror and Halloween vendors right here in the parking lot. And then right out here in front of the museum on Philadelphia Avenue, we're shutting the entire street down for Southern California's largest vintage hearse show. We're gonna have 40 vintage hearses mm -hmm. on display for everyone to walk around and enjoy, as well as a live DJ playing music outside. And we will have uh, various uh, food and treats and beverages, as well as you have the beautiful Uptown Whittier to go out and have a nice dinner. This is the list of all the vendors we're gonna have in the uh, Nightshade Market. you probably see a few that you recognize. Uh, Monster Tees is gonna be here, Dark Parks Books and Collectibles. Um, we have just a really great collection, Monster Island. We are also on Sunday gonna be doing the Trick or Treat here in the Whittier Museum. This is the kid-friendly event that we do. That's gonna be uh, 12 to 4 p.m. We're gonna do lights on in the haunted house and do free trick or treating for the kids so they get to, to enjoy their Halloween as well. All right, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the history of Turnbull Canyon and what it's all about and what you guys are about to witness in this haunted house. The Electrodome 
was a uh, rain-making tower that's actually real history here in Whittier, created by Professor uh, Waite that you see there in the photograph. And um, he came to the area from Wilmington and he basically told the farmers here in Whittier that he would be able to create rain uh, you know, for a fee with this tower that he created. And uh, so the story goes, uh, his first experiment, he was able to create a rain cloud above the tower for about 30 minutes. And uh, he was preparing to do another lengthy um, experiment with it. And um, he was um, actually driving along uh, the road and he got a blowout on a tire on his vehicle and he was changing it on the side of the road and he um, was struck by another passing vehicle and died mysteriously. No one knows who killed him. It was a hit and run. Then we got the uh, fabled Gates of Hell. This is uh, the Gates of Hell that are actually up there in uh, Turnbull Canyon. Uh, it's believed by the uh, locals that a lot of evil stuff happens back there. It's known that there's uh, hounds of hell, these giant dogs that live back there and guard the gates. And uh, it's um, known by locals as the gateway to hell. And a lot of evil stuff happens up there. There's uh, stories about occult practices happening back there beyond the gates, um, as well as there was a uh, menstrual institution back in the 1950s that burned down mysteriously and it released all the patients into the, the hillside and a lot of them were unaccounted for. Um, this is uh, that would be the Hidden Hills Asylum myth uh, and uh, you guys are going to actually get to travel through Hidden Hills Asylum this evening and see it face to face. We also have the crash of Flight 416 West which was an actual uh, real uh, plane crash that happened up in the hills of Turnbull. Uh, I believe there's 26 passengers that died on that flight, uh, and uh, there's still remains of that aircraft in the hills of Turnbull. If you hike around up in there, you will actually find remnants of the actual airplane in the hills up there. Uh, pretty tragic um, airplane crash. Um, you may see part of that in the show tonight as well. And uh, with that, I'd like to say welcome to the Haunted Rose. Are you prepared to enter the gates of Turnbull? Woo! Yes! They are taking the first group now through the haunted house. Also, this is what the museum looks like on the top floor. Spooky!
That was fantastic. That was incredible. I'm getting like goosebumps right now. I can't believe I haven't heard of this event before this year, but wow, the Haunted Rose attraction, that was excellent. The, uh, the sets were very well detailed, a lot of great scares. The lighting, the lighting was fantastic. I can't tell you how nervous I am when I go through a haunted house or before I go through a haunted house, I should say, because I just don't know if it's gonna pick up well on the camera and I, just, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see and I love that this was a well-lit house. The sets were beautiful. The actors were great. I mean, they, they had so much energy. And I was actually talking to one of the staff members here and he was saying how a lot of these scare actors, it's their first year. So props to them because they were brilliant. The, overall, just an A plus effort. I wanna go through this again, actually. So you guys, I highly recommend you check this out. It's at the Whittier Museum. It is open on October 28th, 29th, and the 30th. So it's not a lot of days, but it's definitely worth squeezing it in because this is awesome. What a great haunted house walkthrough. What a great backstory. And yeah, can't, there's not enough adjectives to describe. Ooh, spooky. There's not enough adjectives to describe how fantastic this event is. Go check it out. Thanks, you guys. See you in the next one.